Hello, people of God. May the grace of the Lord be with you, and may He bless you. May God protect you, and may the Lord keep you. May all the blessings and protection promised in Psalm 91 be upon you, your household, and your family. We want to convey to you that any spiritual attack happening in your love life, financial situation, or path will be nullified. You and everyone who hears this prayer will be greatly blessed and will receive many blessings in their lives. Before we start praying Psalm 91, we kindly request you to prepare a glass of water for this prayer. When we begin praying, all the blessings from this prayer will be upon that glass of water. When you drink it, you will feel a great sense of well-being. Amen. Firstly, we would like you to write your first name and the phrase, God will deliver me from the snare of the fowler in the comments below. If you are here for the first time, join this channel to hear this prayer. May God bless you. Welcome. We are the daily prayer of faith, and we don't talk about religion here. It is about God and the things of the Bible. If you are here, it's because God is seeing you and knows that you need this prayer. We advise you to subscribe to the channel because starting today, we will include you in our prayers every time we come here to pray. YouTube itself will send a prayer to your phone for free. Below you will see the word subscribe. Click on it. Then you will see the symbol of a bell. Click on that too. Finally, you will see all. Click on it to receive the prayer every time we come here. Now don't forget to prepare a glass of water. All right. Psalm 91 is the most powerful prayer in the Bible. When a person is facing spiritual attacks, this prayer will help that person get rid of any and all spiritual attacks. Let us mention some examples for you to understand. If someone has been having strange dreams lately, like dreaming of hair falling out, snakes or teeth falling out, know that there are dreams that are products of our imagination, but there are also dreams that are messages from heaven to open our eyes. We know that many people will come here to listen to this prayer. People to whom God is trying to convey something through this prayer. Every uprising of the enemy, every attack from the adversary, will be nullified. If someone is dreaming of falling from somewhere, if someone is dreaming of a beast chasing, each mentioned dream has a meaning, but we will not address them in this prayer so as not to prolong it too much. In other prayers, we will talk about the meaning of dreams. This person is facing spiritual attacks and needs to pray to break these chains. And that prayer is Psalm 91. There are people who were once in a very good moment in their relationship, but suddenly they start fighting. They miss each other when they are apart. But as soon as they get closer, the fights start again. And this situation persists. The couple is going through spiritual attacks. There are people who look at themselves and don't understand why they are not happy in their love life or why they can't connect spiritually. However, there are also people who don't succeed in the romantic aria because their previous relationship ended with words of cursey. The other person said, You didn't stay with me. You won't stay with anyone else. Did you know that the Bible says that words have power? The Bible says that there are people who destroy others with their mouths, with words. But through this prayer, every evil that is touched and reached, that life will be nullified. Now, let me give you two guidelines. After listening to this prayer, we suggest you listen to it six more times to complete it seven times, but not in a single day. Starting today, Listen for at least the next seven days, always preparing the glass of water. The number seven is a very powerful spiritual number. The Bible talks about many miracles that are related to the number seven. It says that God gave the instruction for the people to march around the walls of Jericho seven times, and the walls fell. The Bible also tells us that the prophet directed Naaman, a man with leprosy, to dip himself in the Jordan River seven times and he was healed from leprosy. 
The word of the Lord also says that the prophet Elijah went up the mountain and prayed seven times, and on the seventh time, God answered. Furthermore, in the book of Genesis, the Bible mentions that God sanctified the seventh day and blessed it. The number seven is a sacred number to God. That's why I encourage you to listen to this prayer for the next seven days at any time, but make this prayer commitment starting today for the next seven days. And that's why it's also important, if possible, to dedicate seven hours of fasting to God. Be assured that God will bless you, deliver you, and protect you. This prayer is for all those who are facing spiritual attacks in their love lives, in their relationships, or for those who are unable to have a successful relationship with anyone. I want to give special attention to this area during this prayer. We will pray for all areas, but I feel the need to emphasize this. After the prayer, if you are in a relationship or if you are single and desire God's intervention and provision, take a photo of the couple or a photo of yourself and we will be praying for your life. All right, let's pray Psalm 91. I also ask that after finishing this powerful prayer, in which I know you will feel God's presence, you send it to seven people. Don't break this chain. Choose seven people and send them this prayer. Now prepare your glass of water, okay? Now repeat this prayer with me, with great faith. Everything I pray here regarding Psalm 91 you will repeat with me, either in words or in your heart. Let's pray. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. For you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Let me now pray for you. Allow this prayer to touch your life. O oh, my Father, under the blessing of Psalm 91, I present to you my God, my prayers, and our period of seven hours of fasting, because our Lord Jesus Christ taught us that there are spiritual battles, struggles, and wars that can only be won through prayer and fasting. So, in this moment, while fasting, my Father, under the blessing of Psalm 91, we declare that every spiritual attack that your son, your daughter has been facing shall fall to the ground now. Retreat. Every envy that has targeted their love life, finances, health, and family shall fall to the ground now. Retreat. Wherever this prayer reaches, may protection, deliverance, and victory come. And we pass on the fasting we did for seven hours we now transfer it. We give it to the life of your daughter, to the life, O Father, of your son, and we declare the blessing, the protection, and the great testimony that shall happen in their life from now on. 
the light of God illuminates every area of their life. God will deliver them from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Father, consecrate now this glass of water, and may all the blessings and protection of Psalm 91 be upon this glass of water. And when your daughter, your son, drinks it, may they be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Pray with me now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And you say, Amen. Give thanks to God. Amen. Now, the water you prepared is consecrated and blessed. You can drink it and repeat this prayer for the next seven days. I am sure you will feel very well. Everyone who listens to this prayer, I am sure they will be blessed, enlightened, and protected, free from all evil. We want to ask you at this moment, before you go, to click the like button below so that YouTube can make sure other people receive this prayer, know about it, and have peace. I also ask you to share it with seven people. May God bless you, keep you, and protect you. Stay with God. Amen.